Hello, Cornerstone League. I am CC21, or Nuno Gomez21, uh, DLC of Draftorig. Uh, I'm actually not your DLC, that would be Battlestorm. However, as leader of the Under, I've decided to kidnap your DLC. Uh, he is currently being held in Pirate Town, jail cell above our Under. Uh, I'll be keeping him hostage for the rest of your season. Um, only way you get him back is to win your league and then challenge my league for his freedom. Alright, let's move on. Uh, so, our group here at the Under has stolen, uh, ransacked even, uh, your DLC's office. We have stolen highly confidential papers that um, we will be sharing with you. Uh, just some things you should keep in mind for your league. Uh, communicate with your opponents always before Wednesday, the earlier the better. Uh, your matches only take place between Monday and Saturday. Never a Sunday game, or you will be banned. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that uh, these rankings actually aren't rankings. We're just going to be talking about your teams a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I will be reading through these stolen documents as well as adding my own takes on whether or not I like your teams. Okay, moving on. Here are, so welcome to the Cornerstone League. Battlestorm will be your host. Um, I will allow him to do that from his jail cell. Uh, in the Cornerstone kitchen, he'll be reviewing your 14 uh, chefs, massive cooks in this league it seems. Um, they, you will be cooking against each other and vault your restaurant to the top of the league. So we are going to review your menus, um, and then after week one, then you will be acknowledged. Okay. So in which ways? There are flavors of the week. There is a main course, Swedish dish, spiciest recipe, and of course, dessert. Everyone's chef of the week's favorite. Okay, so let's move on to the menacers. Coached by Ace981212. What a numbers guy. Already follow, already won my heart over. Um, he is running the coffee shop. A little bitter and spicy uh, going around here. So the menacers, they have easily have the most confusing menu in the Cornerstone Kitchen. Customers aren't really sure what to expect. Hot, cold drinks. These coffee, uh, this coffee shop's a little insane. Competing chefs are going to have a hard time predicting what Chef Ace is going to serve each week. The hot coffee stands out the most, of course, clearly. Um, however, it really shines with when you uh, pair it up with some cold tea that you'll find further down his menu with the Nine Tails Alola. Uh, Nine Tails Alola will prep with customers for screens before they drink a spiciest items under the sun, featuring friends in Cherry Zard Y, Fluttermane, Walking Wake, okay. Uh, three Paradox Pokemon on the menu. And as an extra, we've got Bax Caliber in case you really want to try something cold but spicy. Okay. Rumors are that the menu ended up this way after Nine Tails was claimed, even stolen, by a competing restaurant. Chef Ace fixed up the problem with the Nine Tails Lola um, instead. We'll have to see the reviews to see if this bitterness will be reflected in the taste. So there are also some concerns about the challenge of pairing these contrasting flavors together. But if Chef Ace can cook, this has the potential to be the hottest restaurant around. Uh, some CC21 thoughts here. Cherry Zard, no one likes you. You're a cherry. Okay. Um, this Golem guy, not a fan for a normal golem uh, but we got some cool stuff too we got our box caliber uh, flutter mains kind of cute I guess nine tails Alola probably my favorite uh, Pokemon from the Alola region so well done there Slitherwing very cool stuff Alolan Persian I personally feel is one of the top tier F tiers so let's see how that goes for you 
not a fan of your walking wake. The design butchers the classic majestic Suicune. So you may be my enemy. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have con Restaurant Nature Contact. Okay. Chef to buy. Kitty, kitty, hiss, hiss. Oh, very caddish team here. Restaurant Indian. Flavors sweet and spicy. Nature Contact, the restaurant, cooks only using the finest ingredients and serves the finest Indian cuisine that the Cornerstone Kitchen will have to offer this season. The menu is filled with spicy curries, and there are a lot of different options to show off how Chef Kitty Kitty Hiss Hiss cooks with heat. Ogre Pond Hearth Flame at the forefront of that heat is clearly the headliner dish, but don't sleep on his buddy Raging Bolt, aka Giraffe Man. Um, Screamtail and Houndoom as an added bonus to add to the heat. Uh, these will provide all customers with some spice. All good curry needs to be served alongside something to eat with. And Ninetales provides that. Uh, we can never forget about the ugly beast uh, Landorus Tea. And everyone's favorite new guy, the turtle, Terrapagos, are the perfect side dishes to this uh, meal. The only concern with Nature Contact is the size of the menu. If you love spicy, this is the place to be. However, Chef Kitty Kitty Hiss Hiss had to cut some important types from the menu to make room for all the heat. Okay, We are a little worried that the food won't be as nice coming out as it was going in, but fortunately, can't be held against Nature Contact. All right. So those were part of Battlestorm stolen documents. Looking at this team, it's not bad. Yeah, very fast. I think Raging Bolt will be a heavy member of this team. So uh, everyone, watch out for that thunderclap there. Uh, some design tips, you know, I love Skarmory, one of my favorite Pokemon. Love the Steel Bird Boy. Finally, someone understands. Better than the fake Steel Bird. Uh, Mega Beedrill, pretty cool. Hits hard. Hard to argue against that. <laughs> uh, Frostmoth, I think, is very underrated, so it's great to see him. I am curious to see what that Terra Water does, so I'll be watching your games, that's for sure. Um, however, that lander is so ugly. So ugly. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Restaurant Criminal Kirby's, coached by Chef Prince of Underworld, type of s restaurant, sandwich shop. Ooh, everyone likes sandwiches, I like that. Uh, flavor is salty. Chef Prince of Underworld was the biggest sniper in the kitchen, and the Criminal Kirby's were able to take some of the most coveted recipes available and convert them into their sandwiches. Meow Scarada and Gliscor being taken off the board to back to back left half the chefs in the league feeling completely salty and hence salty kitchen and chef prince of underworld is sure to take full advantage of that to serve pure salt they put together a really balanced menu with a defensive core of gly score aegislash and toxapex that will be hard enough to get through as well as palafin and meowscarada for strong offenses overall Battlestorm expects the Criminal Kirby's to sell a lot of great sandwiches and to happy customers with a side of salty opposing chefs. Now looking at this team from CC's perspective, I like the Kirby logo. Although Mr. Storm uh, pointed out glass core was a defensive core, I do think that it is also a very offensive core. Uh, looking at that... Um, Glyce, Scornega, Slash, I think they have extreme power to share. So hard to predict what's going to go on with this team. I'm a big fan of the Electrode Hisui, especially as a Terra option. Terra Ice, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast Ice, great combo. Crispy Chicken over there, uh, Mold Trays. Funny enough, impossible to kill, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Palafin, I think, is one of the most underrated S tiers. It can go insane. Uh, pretty cool team overall, actually. I love the Pyroar. I think that is super underrated as well. So I'm going to be super excited to see what happens there. 
The only problem I have with this team, Tokes of Packs. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Moving on. The Malayan Mammal Swines, chefed by Pikachu. Interesting way of spelling that. Uh, restaurant fast food and burgers. Everyone loves a burger. Uh, sweet and salty flavors are served here. This is a Tusk themed restaurant. Never knew I needed it until I saw it. Chef Pikachu has honed their skills on the grill with some of them and come up with an expensive, extensive burger menu. Great Tusk and Heatran are staples that go well together and with headliner Genesect. The vegetarian Terra Grass Mammal Swine has also been all the rage lately, and there have been reports online going on the door in certain locations where everyone wants to try it. There's a lot to be excited about, and not much to not like. My only concern is that the menu may become a bit predictable, so we're going to have to watch out and see how Chef Pikachu can improvise the menu throughout the season to keep the other chefs on their toes. Sometimes small menus are the best though, so people want to know what they're getting is good, and that's what it's all about here at the Malayan Mammal Swines. Looking at this team, I have to agree, it looks pretty good, very top heavy uh, Pokemon. Not sure I like the Shinotic and Polyrath. I've never actually seen them do anything before, but you know, I'd love to see if you can do that. Uh, Mammal Swine recently became C tier, probably drafted in every league, and definitely worth being the Terra Captain. Love to see that. Everyone loves Heatran, everyone thinks Heatran's great. I've never been convinced. Love to see you prove me wrong, I guess, but I also am not a big fan of it, so if it fails, I'm okay with that. Rotom Wash, ugly. I love the Mega Pidgeot. Overquill's exciting. You have probably one of the top F tiers as well in Grand Bull. Genesect's a fun S tier. This team looks like it's going to be fun. Love to see you do something with Polyrath, though. I've been waiting year after year, and I still haven't seen it, so... Show me something. On to the LOS. Lowe's. Chef Trees. Restaurant BBQ. Flavors spicy. And off the record, weakness in uh, La Lowe's B Barbecue serves any kind of meat you want as long as it's hot. Chef Trees is cooking with straight fire. And I'm and we are all absolutely here for it. No side dish is needed. No mild. No medium sauces. No kids meals, just hot or hotter. Full sun menu when you get one glass of water, but the staff doesn't even come back to fill your cup when your mouth is burning. Torkoal, Roaring Moon, Venusaur, Infernape, Terrifier, Zoroark. LOS is pretty much everything you can ask for from sun menus. There are some other menu items on the menu like Mega Metagross and Minior that trees the chef will need to learn to cook with in order to propel LOS into greatness. Opposing chefs will surely be prepared by arriving with their own drinks of antacids, but it will be but will it be enough to protect their mouths and bowls? Bowels, sorry. Um, looking at this team from a CC perspective, very, very interesting. Actually, I think it's kind of fun. I'd love to see this team in action. I am concerned. Um, at your ability to handle ground types. Uh, but your team does hit pretty hard, so that might not even matter. So we'll see how that goes. Love Mega Metagross. Try not missing, though. I found that in a Mission Impossible, so we'll see how that goes for you. Um, yeah, I actually really like this team. So far, my number one team, personal. Moving on to CBA, Sevilla Lux Rays. Coach Chef Slayton 201, restaurant type, Cat Cafe. Flavors, sour. Chef Slayton 201 must have briefly forgotten that this is actually a cooking competition because it seems like they tried to open an animal shelter instead with all of these cats on the menu. After being reminded that they aren't okay to eat, Chef Slayton 201 assured me that the Sevilla Lux Rays is actually a cat cafe. 
Shimano Cat has been tried many times before with varying degrees of success, and Chef Slate and 201's fate is really in their own hands. They select the dishes like Mew, Annihilate, and Xian Pao, which are potentially really tasty but hard to prepare. Also, there are apparently no ground types type cats, so the Sevilla Luxors will have to pray that the other chefs do not try conducting static electricity inside the restaurant, as the cats really don't like it. Overall, their success will come down to whether the staff are able to do something about the sour smell coming from the litter boxes. It doesn't matter how good the food is if no one wants to come in. I love that one. Okay, CC comments. Let's look at this. It's very cat-like. However, there's some exceptions to the cat theme here. Uh, pretty sure Annihilate is like the devil tornado guy from Bugs Bunny. Not a cat. Uh, Mega, Mayor, Mega Gyarados is a shrimp, so not a cat. I know people consider Suicune a cat. Maybe it is. I don't really like that opinion, so Suicune's a dog to me. Like Hanrock, definitely not a cat. Terminator, Sloth. Although, in some people's opinion, especially certain server members named Izuk, everything is a cat, so I guess it's not wrong. Okay, looking at this team, very strong. At You know, S-tier Annihilate can go insane if you aren't ready. Shen Pao can go insane. You uh, can literally do anything, so, you know, good luck prepping for that. Mega Gyarados, Powerhouse, Sylveon can be fun, Suicune. I love Suicune's design. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon too. Not sure how much it can do. It can kind of get stale and predictable, so we'll see how that goes. Lycan Rock, Dusk, probably one of the best D tiers or best rock types. Having priority rock moves against literally any team is fantastic. Most teams struggle with rock types, so having a priority rock type that does damage is probably the most useful things in the game, so we'll see how that goes. I'm super excited about Delcaddy. I love Delcaddy. Hoenn Supremacy here, so, you know, I want to see that come every week and, you know, win. Uh, at the end of the season, if you become our champion, Slayton, I will offer you the six egg recipe. Moving on. New York Mankeys. Here at the New York Mankeys, they're run by Chef Runaway Ostrich. Ironic that they do not serve ostriches. Type of restaurant, Italian seafood, flavors bitter and salty. Good things come to those who wait, like any good Italian restaurant. You might spend two hours there, but you'll be happy when you leave. In the case of the New York Mankeys, hopefully that doesn't mean the customers are just happy because it's over. The double regenerator core of Alamomomola, or aka fish, and Tangrowth is sure to produce some of the longest meals in the kitchen this season. And other tank ingredients include Gudra and Gliscor. We'll only add to that. There's no Gudra here. I mean Gliscor. Gligar. Probably meant Gligar. Glamora will be a great appetizer, setting hazards to prepare for the stall war. But Chef Runaway Ostrich added some fan favorite dishes to the menu as well with Chi Yu, Iron Valiant, and Mega Mawile. We'll see if everyone's favorite flaming dish can add enough spice to the menu to earn the spiciness tag. Until then, the New York Mankeys can look forward to some very bitter and salty customers wanting, waiting for their food to be ready. Let's take a look here. Uh, fish, pretty cancerous Pokemon. I have used it in the past. Not proud of it, but you know, it does stuff. I love to see a banded aqua jet from it though. Chiyu, one trick pony, however, that one trick, pretty hard to stop, so you know, easy stuff there. Mega Wawile, love this mega. I want to see it go nuts, make it go nuts. Yeah, this team is very fat. Hmm. I don't really like your hazard removal just being Gligar, I'm gonna be honest here. Then again, your team doesn't really hate hazards either, so I guess it doesn't matter. Good stuff here. Moving on. Tartarus Apples. Restaurant, Tartarus Apples, Chef Kimius, type of restaurant, breakfast cafe, flavor, sweet and salty, 
Finally, an eating establishment that understands that customers need to get their food quickly. The Tartarus apples ride or die with the extreme speed that they serve food at. Is it actually good enough? We'll have to wait and see. Early reviewers say that Tyranitar has negative synergy with other items on the menu, but with this much priority in offense, who really cares? Chef Kimius moves so many customers in and out of here on their way to work that no one will have time to notice if the place isn't clean or if the drinks are too hot. As long as it's all up to code, a win is a win and other chefs will have to keep up. Looking at this team, yeah, it's very interesting. Tyranitar is a really good Pokemon. Doesn't seem to mix very well with the team. But I guess if you're just looking for a powerhouse, you don't have to mix it well. Yeah. I think Lucario, probably really, really impossible to stop. I found out yesterday myself. Slow King with Chili Reception pairs well with your Alolan Sand Slash. Oh yeah, you got some good priority here. Mm. I don't actually know what that thing at the bottom is, that little bird thing. It's probably one of those new Pokemon, so love to see whatever you do with that. Cup of oily green tea, not sure what that is, but you know, I'm kind of interested, so you know, do something with that so I can see. Licky Licky's ugly, just saying. Um, yeah, your team doesn't have a lot of Pokemon I'm super fan of. Titar, Mega Lucario, Arcanine. Hmm. Big miss on getting an Apple Pokemon though, just saying. Moving on, the Rift Raiders. Okay, coached by B Kit. Type of restaurant, ice cream shop. Not sure if we can call that a restaurant. That yeah, probably counts. Flavor, sweet. Rift Raver Raiders have the kitchen's most anticipated item on the menu the stellar form Terrapagos, aka Shiny Turtle. Most customers will stop reading the menu there, order their turtle ice cream, leave happy. They won't realize that they are missing out on all the other great flavors that Chef B Kit added to the menu. Chef B Kit will hope that the opposing chefs do the same and sleep on huge threats like Urshifu Rapid Strike and Mega Pincer. Sometimes the Clefable ice cream also just refuses to melt, and there aren't many customers out there who can finish both the Fable and Terrapagos in one sitting. The double mascot pick makes B Chef B Kit ice cream parlor a big fan favorite a win it all or just stop by for a scoop after work looking at this team shiny turtle from what i can tell is going to go nuts so you know you have to prepare for that or you're in trouble however yeah i have to agree um this team has a lot of threats here septile don't sleep on him altaria i love that pick 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to be watching all of the Rook Raiders games. I want to see Altaria go nuts. In terms of Pokemon I don't like on here, there's literally only one, and it's Clefable, so that's not so bad. Moving on. The Corruptive Corsolas, coached by Chef Luc Luchastic, type of restaurant food truck, a specifically taco stand. Uh, flavors bitter and sour. The Corruptive Corsolas food truck is best known for its half price special on Tuesdays, which says a lot about the quality of the establishment. Customers never know where the truck is going to be. Chef Luchastic keeps forgetting to upload their schedule to the website. And even when people do find it, they are always complaining about their weird hours. The food is amazing, though. If it wasn't, then people wouldn't spend their whole Tuesday driving around to find it. Not like they'd have anything better to do on a Tuesday. We are not Tuesday fans in this league. Tuesdays usually end poorly. Chef Luchastic put a menu together with a banger after banger but they only serve one item per day. No one knows if they'll be eating dual screens offense, bulky offense, trick room, stall. They don't care enough, though, because it's all good to watch. Watch out for Corsula Galler, clogging up the line with its long preparation time, though. It's best to go when they're serving Volcarona or Superior. In terms of CC thoughts, hard to know when what is coming. This team actually can go anyway can be very offensive with your Mega Kangaskhan, Superior, Volcarona, Noivern, Crocodile. can be gross with Corsola, Audino, Slowbro. Very interesting team. No designs I hate on here, so that's a positive. Interested to see what you do. Moving on. This is the wrong team. No. Okay, C Thunderous Chef TD, TKD Camo Restaurant Sports Bar Flavors. Salty, generic, but good food. When I look at the menu at Thunderous, I can't decide what to get. They have everything you'd expect your favorite sports bar to have. Chef TKD Camo realizes that people are just going to there to drink or watch the game. That doesn't stop them from striving to be the best place to do that. Dragapult and Zamazanta are a great offensive combo and set the tone for great speed tiers. The supporting casts make for a balanced menu, but some reviewers are claiming that Chef TKD Camo will be trying to make the games last longer so people buy more drinks. If they had better hazard or removal options, they could be a favorite to win it all. But I, we can't wait to let them cook with what they've got. Just don't get too drunk while you're there, or Iron Jugglers will bounce you. CC Perspective. Yeah, this is a really gross team. Yep. Mega Venusaur, impossible to kill. Claude Sire, annoying to kill. Togetic, annoying to kill. Meloetta, it's actually pretty cool, but also really hard to kill. We have the annoying Incineroar, hard to kill. Yeah, these games are gonna last forever. I may not be showing up at this restaurant, no offense, but yeah, no thanks. Moving on to the Elisa Love Club. Yeah, Chef Caraceline, I'm definitely butchering that name. Restaurant type desserts or sweets, flavors sweet and bitter. ELS originated primarily as a karaoke place, but the food was so good that the chef started selling the desserts to Watkins. Everyone is asking about the Terra Stellar Needle King. No one knows what it is or how it works, and this buzz is definitely, seems to be helping Chef Caricelline. Magirna and Mega Latios, amazing combo, very much on theme with Manaphy and Togekiss as well. The wall breaking power that ELS has on its menu can be matched only by the wall breaking sounds of the karaoke singing in the back room. If Chef Caricelline can manage to clean up the remains of their opponents as well as the mess left by the karaoke patrons, when then they just might have the sweetest menu in the whole kitchen. CC thoughts? Yeah, this, this is an interesting team. Uh, not a fan of Magirna, I think it's super overrated, but it is very good, so yeah, whatever. Does pair really well with that Megalodios. Megalodios is another insane Pokemon. 
Manaphy is usually a sleeper pick, so that's a great one. Greninja, powerhouse. Everyone loves a Greninja. Nido King, in my opinion, the Nidos are some of, if not the best draft Pokemon out there. And at C tier, they're a steal. Not sure what Terra Stellar does, but I'm kind of intrigued and I will be watching to see if I have to change my Terra into that. Um, I don't like the Frost Seeds pick. I think it's super overrated. Everyone thinks it's a great up tier. Sure, it stacks hazards, but it's ugly and I don't like it. So, you know, there's that's the most important thing. Eridos, we all know why he's here. Webs, pretty much the only reason. Love to be proven wrong, do something else with it. Okay, moving on. Last one, the Steelworks Steelix, chef by Gwen the Guard, type of restaurant, pizzeria, flavors, salty and spicy. The Steelworks Steelix are our only delivery takeout only restaurant in the competition. Unfortunately, there have already been some concerns about the notoriously slow food delivery times by Chef Gwen the Guard. Is obviously cooking with Trick Room, so it's to be expected. It's well worth the wait as they loaded up their menu with great Trick Room attacking options like Stack Attacka, aka Jenga, Steelix, Mega Steelix, Gallade can even do it with a good room service. And then they've got also one of the best setters in the game in Cresselia. For those who want an express option, we still have Blaziken here with his speed boosting abilities, Kyra and Black, Teleon. These should all keep all customers in a rush happy. As long as Chef Gwen the Guard can serve all their customers before the food gets too cold and Trick Room expires, there shouldn't be any complaints. And that is it from the stolen documents. CC Perspective. I love the logo. I love that you picked Mega Steelix. I literally never see it, so I'm very excited, and I hope that thing pops off. Stock Attacka, very underrated. It can go insane under the right conditions. Blaziken, if you don't prepare for him, uh, he can sweep literally any team, so every team's got to watch out for that. Without ignoring the fact that we've got a Kyra Black here, who also goes insane. Gallade with his new ability, Sharpness, also insane. Not a fan of this Tentacruel, but it's probably there for the, you know, rapid spin abilities. Cresselia is so, like, I, I get why you it's here, Trick Room abilities, but my goodness, I hate this thing. Uh, Serena... Well, paper looks great. I've never seen it actually perform extremely well, so love to see you prove me wrong. Um, I think your low punny and Puyukumuku are wasted picks in my opinion, but you know, again, prove me wrong. Love to see it. I just think they're super. Yeah, I'm not not a fan of those. Not at all. Yeah. Anyways. Thanks for popping in. Uh, not sure if you'll be seeing me again. However, if you want to free your DLC captain, champion this league, take down our heart flame champion. If so, I will release.